talk about patterns. Patterns are things that happen over and over and over again. A simple pattern is something like this. A white stripe, a blue stripe, a white stripe, a blue stripe, a white stripe, a blue stripe, a white stripe. What color comes next? That's right. A blue stripe. Now that you're getting the hang of it, we know that patterns can be all kinds of things. So I asked some of my friends to come up with ideas of patterns that they have in their lives. And here are some videos that they sent in to me talking about patterns. Do you see a pattern on this cat's tail? The cat's tail is a simple pattern just like the pattern on my shirt. It said black, gray, black, gray, black, gray. What comes after gray? That's right, black does. You did it. Let's see what the next pattern is. I'm gonna give a treat to the black and white kitty and the white and black kitty and then the black and white doggy. Then I'm gonna give another treat to the black and white kitty, and then to the white and black kitty, and then to the black and white doggy. This pattern gets a little more tricky. Instead of having two things alternating back and forth, this one has an AAB pattern. So it goes cat, cat, dog, cat, Cat, dog. Cat, what comes next? That's right, cat, dog. That's right, those are the next two items in the pattern. Now, let's see what the next pattern is. Hi everyone, here's my pattern. It's a planting one. Bush, bush, flower. Bush, bush, flower. Bush, bush, have fun. So the ne that next pattern was bush, bush, flower. Bush, bush, flower. Bush, bush, what came next? That's right, it was flower. Bush, bush, flower is the pattern that she had in that video. Now, let's see what the next pattern is. I see a pattern on the side of this scratching post for our new kitten. It's got brown, pink, blue, brown, pink, blue, brown, pink, blue, brown, pink, blue. That pattern said brown, pink, blue, brown, pink, blue, brown, pink. What came next? That's right, blue. All right, let's see what the next pattern is. Charlotte, what's your pattern? 
noodle cheese sauce. In that pattern, my friend was making food. Did you know we could make patterns with food? She did the pattern noodles, cheese, sauce. Noodles, cheese, sauce. Noodles, what came next? That's right, cheese and sauce. You did it. Next is a video from my aunt, and she's going to talk to you about how she uses a pattern to do something called crochet, and she's gonna be working on her crochet while she films the video. I hope you enjoy it. My name is Irma, and my husband, Don, is my photographer. I'm crocheting. I'm making a shawl. His shawl has been knitted by someone else. Knitting and crocheting are different, often used to make the same things. I'm doing repetitive double crochets, and that's most of what I do to make this shawl about 60 inches long. I make these for our church, and we give them to people who are sick and maybe would be comforted by having a shawl to wrap around them. I hope you're having a really good day. Wow, patterns are very important for us in our lives. So I hope as you're working around your house, then maybe you can find patterns, whether it's in your clothing, in your towels, or in something that you're doing. Let us know what your patterns you have found. Bye.